Hey guys, it's me, don't get scared. <laughs> it looks like I burnt my lips. It's because I used a cool toned brown shade and I topped it off with the Insight Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Jawbreaker and this is what I arrived at. But that's not the point of this video. Today's video is gonna be a one brand tutorial demo of sorts of a super, super affordable underrated brand that is Insight Cosmetics. I think none of these products exceed over 299 rupees. They are a really affordable brand. And in this video, I discovered a couple of other products from this brand, which I think I will be loving in the future and recommending to you guys as well. Anyways, this was a little bit of a requested video on my channel. A lot of you guys wanted to watch one brand on um, Inside Cosmetics. If you want to watch the other in uh, one brand tutorials that I've done, I've done a mask cosmetics one brand tutorial that's going to be linked right here and I've also done a Swiss Beauty one brand tutorial which is going to be linked right here and I've compared a mask cosmetics versus Swiss Beauty which again will be linked right here so in today's video it's going to be inside cosmetics and we're going to be getting right now into the demo into the tutorial whatever you like to call it let's get started so firstly we're going to be starting off with the eye makeup so to prime my eyelid I'm going to be using this inside HD concealer this one is a really nice concealer I really like the formula of this it's quite comparable to the LA girl pro conceal concealer just that you wouldn't get as much shade options with this one it is a little creamy concealer to be concealing your eyelid but we have no other option for this and by the way i don't have any eyebrow product in today's video and now in today's video we're going to be using this insight pro shadow palette so this is an all shimmer palette so firstly i'm going to be taking this shade right here and placing it towards my outer corner that is quite pigmented and uh, it's not shimmery as such it has a subtle sheen like it's smooth but it's not sparkly on your eyelid and then i'm going to be taking this shade and applying it towards the center of my eyelid and then towards the inner part of my lid i'm going to be using this light yellow shade that's a pretty color i like that these are really nice in terms of pigmentation and that's what i really like about this eyeshadow like so far i am impressed even though it's not like uh, how i would like it to be a little bit more shimmery it's good it's not bad at all maybe i maybe at this point i am overdoing it a little bit but i just want to apply a little bit of this color because it's so tempting on the outer corner alone like maybe i'm doing a little too much at this point it's super blendable like with your fingers you can just blend it all in I'm gonna be doing the same thing on this side but this time with a flat shader brush just so that i can see how it performs with a flat shader brush so i'm going to be using my gub flat shader brush which is one of my favorite brushes it's quite affordable and it picks up the shimmer shades pretty well so doing the same thing that i did on this side i mean the product doesn't pick up that well with a brush like it did with the fingers it is pretty good but i still do prefer my fingers over this i'm just going to be wetting the brush just to see if that would help um, and like intensifying the sparkle on the eye it does uh, perform a lot better if it is wet like you can see that nice impressed then like i did taking that deep red shade just on the outer corner here completely clashing with my outfit right now but okay so far really liking the eyeshadow palette so let's move on to the next step so i'm just going to be taking like a clean a blending brush and just blending everything together because i don't want anything to look harsh so anyways moving ahead with eyeliner this one is the insight liner express eyeliner i have tried this one out in the past as well this is not a first impression i quite like this eyeliner so with that we complete the eyeliner and now moving on to mascara i have this insight perfect ultra curl mascara so this is what the wand of the mascara looks like it is not very thick so let's see how this applies okay so it's quite lengthening and adds a slight amount of volume to your lashes so this is the effect of the mascara like you can see and now let's move on to the rest of my face because otherwise this is going to look crazy so for primer i have this one this one is the inside primer three in one long lasting oil free primer so this is what i'm going to be using for one side of my face because i want to see how the new foundation works out with the primer and without a primer so if i use a primer for my entire face it might look a little different so so just using it on the left side of my face alone 
I used to use this primer quite a bit back in the day but I feel like it's not pore filling enough now that I've already tried out the Insight Pore Minimizer Primer which is one of my favorite pore filling primer. It is really nice for the price. So just going to be taking a slight amount of this and applying it on both the sides just concentrate it towards wherever I have more visible pores so not all over my face. Just pressing it in wherever I um, need a little bit of pore filling done and you can see it actually makes this part look a little bit more smoother and by the way my skin is going through something can you see all of that i've never had it even during my teenage years and now it's suddenly all deciding to pop up a lot of like breakouts so now let's move on to color correction which is quite essential at this time so i have the insight pro concealer palette this is something I have recommended quite a few times. I really like the formula of this and I'm going to be using that orange color corrector. Great. Used a very like silicone based product and I'm not able to open anything. It's slipping off my hand. Okay. So I'm going to be taking this orange shade and color correcting very lightly. It's not a stark orange color corrector. Again, has like that peachy undertone to it. So now we're going to be leaving it at this. It looks a little crazy. We'll blend it out later. Now we're going to go ahead with some cream contouring. This one is the Insight HD Conceal High Definition Concealer. I got this one in a darker shade just to contour it. So this one is in the shade Rich Tan. Quickly blending it out with this Pack 073 brush which I hauled in my previous video. It's a nice shade to cream contour if you want it adds that good shadow and it's not too warm as well now the way i contour my face is a lot different from what a lot of people would do because i have a slender face and quite a long face so i like to make it appear a little bit fuller so i draw the contour all over towards the inner part of my cheek and kind of circle it that way so that it um, makes my cheek look a little bit fuller but of course you can you can just apply it right where you need and stop at that point and if you're applying contour towards your jawline you can blend it downwards but i blend it a little bit in an upward angle so now let's move on to the foundation which i hope this is a good match because all of this hard work we did is going to go in vain if it's not so this one is the insight hd foundation and i got this one in the shade um, medium mn30 so it comes in a good squeezy tube packaging. All of that is really nice. Now let's go ahead with the shade match. I'm just going to apply it. Okay, it looks a little bit dark for my skin. But it's just the way I like it. I like warmer foundation. So we're just going to be blending this out. So the consistency of this foundation is not too runny, but it's not too thick as well. And when you just pump it out, you can see a little bit of like that dewiness in it, like it's a dewy foundation and I hope it remains that way. So now to blend it, I'm going to be using this Europe Girl EG046 brush, which I again showed in my last haul. Wow. It blends beautifully. Wow, you guys, I am super impressed with the formula of this foundation. The shade, yeah, it is dark for my skin tone clearly but i am super impressed with the formula it's just so beautiful and seamless on the skin so anyways to conceal i'm going to be taking this one uh this palette and on one side i'm going to be using this and the other side i'll use the other concealer that i used to conceal my eyelid okay so taking this shade Maybe I did go a little bit overhand with the orange color, color corrector because you can see it peek through and it's also altering the way the up other concealer is sitting on top of it. Color corrector peeking aside, okay? You can see how beautiful this formula is. It has a nice dewy finish and it just stays in place. Like if you have very dry under eye area, I feel like it's a really nice concealer to try out. It doesn't cling, it doesn't cake up, it doesn't do anything of that sort underneath your eye. So on this end, I'm going to be using this uh, HD Conceal Concealer because I want to show you guys how it looks like underneath the eyes as well. This one, I have it in the shade Porcelain 05. I picked up the wrong shade if you guys are wondering like why do you have 05 Porcelain? Because I picked up the wrong shade clearly. When I purchased it, I don't think there was a shade mentioned so I just picked up whatever I could. Let's use the Pack 073 brush. 
somehow all of these brushes are just not working for this concealer i'm gonna be trying it with the cuffs and lashes brush one last time i figured out what the mess is so if you use this spot concealer and then you're going to use a liquid concealer from the same brand it's not compatible it splits on the eye because you see here it's like smooth but here it's like splitting on my under eye area I'm not a big fan of oh my god it's a mess i'm not going to be setting my under eye area with this loose powder which is one of my favorite uh, product from this particular brand the inside banana loose powder but i'm just going to be showing you guys how amazing this loose powder is by setting it around my like maybe mouth and around my nose where it is looking a little bit shiny it's amazing i am using a very light dusting of this because i know how these products perform with uh, loose powder they're not very compatible like these very creamy products so using it with a very very light hand so yeah that's how it sets the concealer in place it's not too much but it works really well especially if you have normal to dry skin and you want to set your concealer in place okay let's move on to blush which i don't really have a blush from this brand i don't think they i don't think they really have a blush as such so i am going to be using this one this one is the inside non transfer lip color this one is in the shade satin rose uh, I just hope it goes well with this eye makeup. I'm going to be using a very light hand of this because I think it will be a little too much. Oops. Blending it with this Rufa Beauty brush. This one worked like a charm. This brush is amazing. The Rufa Beauty RB24 brush. This side has more blush, clearly, no? Compared to this one. Mm hmm. So in that case what i like to do is i like to go ahead with the brush which i used to apply my foundation and whichever side i feel like there's more blush i just like to press it this way oh by the way this liquid lipstick is amazing if you want to use it like a lipstick and it's very comfortable quite long wearing and really nice formula i love that now moving on to another favorite product of mine this one is the insight um essentials highlighter this one is in the shade 03 angelic beauty i love this one i have talked about this in so many videos of mine it is a cream highlighter so i'm going to be taking it with my finger and placing it on the high points of my cheek and just blending it with my finger So it's the highlight I have on this side. I just did take it a little too much. So you can see how seamless it looks. It doesn't emphasize too much of texture. It is not the most natural looking highlighter. It does contain certain amount of shimmer particles, but it looks so good once blended out on the skin. I love this highlighter. And now moving on to lips, I have been dying to try this shade out. This one is the Inside Non Transfer Lipstick in the shade number 21, Shady. Mm. This is what the shade looks like. It's a very cool toned brown shade. To make it a little bit more cohesive, I added a little bit of the shade Jawbreaker with the shade Shady. So yeah, this completes the final look. So as you guys saw, we don't really have a brow product and a kajal from this brand. Apart from that, I have pretty much everything else. I don't think this brand has a blush, so I don't really have a blush. They have a couple of other newer launches, which I will be including in another video. But right now, I'm going to be telling you guys quickly the products that I mentioned in today's video. So my take on this. So one product that you haven't seen me use in this video is the Insight Makeup Fixing Spray, which I did use to wet the eyeshadow, but I don't really like to use this on my face because I find it to be extremely strong the scent of this it has a very strong like rose water scent and also it's an okay product in my opinion like the way it sets the makeup it doesn't do anything much in terms of like setting your makeup or like taking off that excess powderiness from your face so it's not one of my favorite products from this brand i'm not going to deny that so then let's move on to the eyeshadow palette that we used in today's video i like it it's a really nice affordable eyeshadow palette with good 
shade selection um, I am really interested to try this like silver shade in another video as well it looks a lot more sparklier like when you swatch it compared to the other shades this one does have a little bit more of a sparkle oomph to it and the other shades are a nice soft shimmer formula they don't have like stark shimmer particles they're not like very intense on the eye but they are really smooth and will give you that smooth blended look and it'll look cohesive it will look blended and even if you haven't put a lot of effort it looks a lot more blended and nice i really like this eyeshadow palette and then we have the eyeliner which is a really nice eyeliner i have used this a couple of times this is not my first impression i like it i like how pigmented it is i like how long lasting this is it's a really nice pigmented eyeliner which settles pretty much matte on the eyes like you can't see that much of a sheen so i really like that and it also doesn't really flake off from your eyes like some uh, must, some eyeliners do this like after a while it did just flake on their own and this one doesn't do that so i like this eyeliner and then now moving on to the mascara this one is the perfect ultra curl mascara which is pretty good like i never expected this if you've watched my video on the swiss beauty mascara i'm not a very big fan of that i feel like it's just lengthening to a certain extent but doesn't do anything else this one does add a little bit of a volume as well so if you wanted a good option from an Indian brand you can try this one out and then moving on to the inside pro conceal palette I really like this palette it pretty much works for most skin tones in my opinion I have used all of these shades even in the past just except this one which is like sweating a little bit this shade but all of this is really creamy really nice this color corrector might be a little bit of an overkill for people who don't really have very dark pigmentation and very dark uh, under eye circle because I feel like it is a little bit like peachy orange and it is a little bit like intense okay to mask it up so if you don't really have very stark under eye circles skip the color corrector but these are really nice and blendable and they stay in place i really like cream like pot concealers because they stay in place they have a smooth skin like finish and they don't look too much on your under eye area and it is not like drying as well so it's so smooth and you don't really even have to set it the minute you set it is when it actually performs like counterproductive it does exactly opposite it splits it looks cakey so and then let's move on to the other concealer that i tried out which is this one this is the inside hd uh, concealer this would work as a good concealer if you have your right shade match this one is extremely light for me and i feel like it's not working really well and like i mentioned in the video these are not compatible so might want to skip on this and just get the concealer palette or if you don't have the concealer palette then you can try this one out it has like light medium coverage in my opinion like yeah you can build it up to medium coverage but light medium coverage is where i would keep it other one which i used as the contour shade the other concealer where is that hmm this one i love this uh concealer i love the undertone of this it's super blendable and gives you that nice chiseled effect because i don't like to go overboard with my contour products that's the reason i used it before my foundation even but you can use it on top of your foundation as well and it would blend really well so really nice product and super affordable so this one is for 180 rupees and you get a contour product for 180 rupees and then the star of this show the inside hd foundation high coverage dewy finish i feel like it just stands up for its name this product you get 20 ml and this retails for 220 rupees okay and you can find this one on discount most of the times on amazon so do check that out you can pick it up on discount and look at the finish it gives i have texture here as well and i feel like it is emphasized a little bit because it is a dewy product but it's not overboard and it's not an overkill so sometimes what happens is all of these dewy products settle on to the lines of your face weirdly but this is not doing anything of that sort so i would highly recommend you try this one out if you want like a, a smooth blurring finish on your skin but you have normal to dry skin if you have oily skin this might be a little bit too dewy for you because they have mentioned that this is a dewy uh, product they have a matte foundation as well something that looks like the nyx uh, matte foundation so you can check that out if you have maybe oily skin but this is for people with normal to dry skin i think you would love this and they have a pretty decent i was going to say decent 
so it has a pretty decent shade selection as well not the best but okay but only thing is that they don't really have a name or like who it matches so it's kind of confusing i picked up the shade mn30 which i feel like it is a little bit like warmer for me you can see there is a stark difference between my face and my decollete so yeah i can go a shade lighter so really impressed super super impressed and another product which is also quite affordable which you can try out is this one this is the insight concealer this is like a again pot concealer but i use this as a foundation and this one is in the shade nc5 medium yellow which is a pretty good match for me it has the exact same finish as this foundation itself but, but it comes in this pot form so if you wanted something that is not a liquid foundation you can try this out and if you already have this i don't think you have to pick this one up but both of these really good products and then the loose powder you have heard me talk about this so many times on my channel i really like this loose powder and it sets your concealer in place stays in place it's smooth finish nothing too dry nothing too cakey and then moving on to the highlighter which is again a really nice product i have talked about this so many times that i'm not going to be repeating the same points again and again it's a nice dewy looking highlighter makes it look a little bit wet on your skin and doesn't have crazy amount of shimmer particles if you were to use it on your bare skin without makeup it will look a little bit shimmery because it needs something to gel onto but if you have a little bit of concealer like all over your face or foundation it just blends in and you can't see those shimmer particles that visibly it's not too big and stark so you can't see that visibly and then they have a a gel liner as well like a lip liner which i really like and i like the formula of that it's extremely long wearing creamy and comfortable on your lips you can try that out or also these lipsticks are really nice they do have a little bit like that waxy kind of feel to it but it doesn't feel heavy on your lips but if you were to eat something it just completely fades away from the center of your lips you can touch it up but it does fade away from the center of your lips completely like even if you were to slurp something with a spoon it does fade away but i don't really mind that because i can just quickly touch it up but it doesn't bleed and budge and create a mess like your other creamy lipsticks would and i really like the color selection of these lipsticks and then coming to the primers this one is okay for me but the one that i really like is the pore minimizer primer it actually is quite pore filling i really like it so yeah with that we pretty much complete every single thing that i talked about in today's video and pretty much everything from this brand that i have so let me know what you think about these products let me know what you think about uh this brand in general and let me know if you want to watch any other one brand tutorial in the comment section down below and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and i see you guys in my next one bye